Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to hand stamp an accent wall. Hey guys, welcome back to our DIY channel. I'm Cassidy and this is Remodelaholic. Today we are working on a little crafting studio background. We have these built-ins that I'm standing next to and we have this small space between the two of them that we are going to put like a hand painted wallpaper on. I saw a wallpaper that I liked online and it looks like this. So we're gonna do this look. It should be really fast and easy. It is super simple and I am not gonna do it quite as dramatic. I am going to do it with a very light colored paint. In fact, I am going to use Gatherings by Magnolia Home. And it is just a lighter color so it won't be quite as contrasted black and white. I don't want it to stand out too much. I just want a little bit of texture on the wall in the background. We're gonna go ahead and get started. This is going to be part of a Facebook Live. So you are seeing this after the fact, but if you'd like to follow us on Facebook, we will have a link in the description box below that you can check out and um, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. So here's how we are going to get started. I have my handy helper here, Justin. We have our big six foot long level. So we did mark, you really probably can't see it, and in fact it's above the camera. We did mark um, the center line and then we went five inches there and we marked three marks and five inches on either side. I have the center mark near the top of the wall and I also have a center mark near the bottom. Okay, so we have lined it up on either side and we're just gonna take a quick pencil mark and draw from top to bottom. Two other lines drawn as we get started. I don't know if you can see those lines, they are very faint. This is seriously like the cheapest little paintbrush from Walmart that I could find in my house that wasn't destroyed by my children. Along the pencil line, I'm not gonna erase it or anything like that, I'm just gonna start kind of painting this line. And just so you know, I want it to look hand painted, so occasionally I might like kind of give it a little just very lightly. Basically, we're just gonna take this paint and draw along the lines. Don't worry if it looks kind of like not perfectly straight. In fact, the beauty of this is that it's gonna look hand painted and that is a little more exciting. These are decently dry, so I'm gonna start over here with taping. Aha. Okay, so I'm taping basically from the center of this line so that there's a little bit showing, but that I can't get paint on this side of the line. Okay, over here I'm going to tape from the center of this line on the outside. Still want to keep some of the paint visible, but I don't want there to be paint on this side of the line, okay? So now comes the fun part. We're gonna take our piece of really expensive garage cardboard. <laughs> I have taped the side because I don't wanna see the corrugated lines. I want a, a solid line. And I'm going to dip this into the paint that's on my plate. I have a piece big enough that I can fill that V in this line. By the way, you know, when I was looking at this wallpaper and I liked this wallpaper, I have to admit I had to email some friends and be like, does this look too much like Chevron? Because it's not Chevron. I want to be very clear. It's not Chevron. What would you call it? It's like herringbone. But I like the pattern. I dipped this in paint and now I'm going to start up at the top and I'm squeezing back and forth with this so that it's not always the same, okay? So I'm going to put the tip down first and then put down like the legs of it. 
and I don't want the spacing to be exactly the same. I like actually want it to have a little bit of a hand painted look, if you will. This should only take about, you know, two or three hours of time at the most to get the wall finished. So technically with this pattern, if you wanted, you could leave a section empty and do another section and do another section. You could add, you could do um, every other or every third and you could do other patterns inside the other stripes like dots and arrows. So um, super easy. It's kind of really whatever you want. I'll show you, this is my, this is my plate of paint that I have just kind of poured a V of paint in there. That's it. Like, it's not using a ton of paint, to be honest. You'll want to remove the tape before the paint dries so that the paint doesn't peel. Now, um, what you'll probably have to do if you're going to also paint this um, with this pattern is that you are going to want this to fully dry. Some of the paint is kind of thick, so you can't just Put the tape on it or it'll squish it and and um and ruin the pattern all right so for the top of this we're going to continue to put the tape along the line that we painted i've got to finish doing just the regular stamping to the top of the wall Okay, so I am getting to the top of the wall. I have taped the ceiling because it is raw pine and I don't wanna get paint on it for sure. So to finish this edge, I have dipped this cardboard with the tape on it so that there was no corrugated mark and it was a little bit of a thicker line. And I'm just gonna go, boom, just like that, right? So when I stamped this, I didn't get this paint on here very well, so I'm just gonna fill in. It's okay if it's not perfect because we just want it to look hand painted and that's what it is. So imperfections are good for this finished look that we're going for. Okay, so I am painting the final few vertical lines that we need to paint and I realized you can either paint it by hand with this or can stamp it and the stamping is going nice and fast it's not as messy as the ones that I painted before but I think it'll be okay so I'm just going to stick this on here well and depending on how much paint you have on there it actually might look very similar to what I had there before so do you see how easy that is that also um, saves a lot of time and I just realized that while we were doing this project that we can stamp the lines and finish it up a lot faster than with the paintbrush. So I'm at the halfway point in stamping this wall. I have these stripes all dry so I can now tape the inside of these and stamp this. So I have my tape and I am going to start taping in the middle of the vertical line over the portion that has been painted. So it's super easy. I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want my tape to land in the middle of this vertical line and lightly pressing. I'm not pressing hard. What do you guys think so far? Yeah, tell us what you think in the comments. Have you ever done like a stamped wall or a stenciled wall? Stencils take so long. So I love that this is just Seriously, so fast. Ooh, so exciting. This whole section is done. I really only have one and a half left, but I wanted to pull it off so we could see how it was looking. All told, that took about uh, two and a half hours, 
had to dry. So there was a little bit of drying time that didn't actually take time, but yeah, really happy with how that turned out. Please be sure to like this video, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel. We have more videos here, and we have more videos here for you to check out, including in this one, another stamped wall that is awesome. All right, we'll see you later.